boy eBay Fight Predictions in the building. And this is your Kevin Lee versus Renat uh, for Nakav <laughs> breakdown. What I already say that motherfucker's name. But really good fight in the welterweight division. I love this fight. And we're back, baby. You guys already know. I don't need to say it anymore, but hey, we're back. Um, but yeah, let's talk about it, man. You guys know I'm a big Kevin Lee guy. Um, interesting fight. Um, it's kind of a random fight, but obviously, you know, we all know Kevin Lee's had a bit of a history with the Dagestanis, so this is actually kind of interesting. Um, I like the fight. I do. And it, it tells a lot about Kevin Lee's character. You know, I think that's the number one thing you, you can take away from this fight, is that Kevin isn't scared of anyone. And the fact that he's fighting a, a bit of a no-name dark horse in the division, and we're not... And instead of fighting someone someone easier, basically, or with a higher profile, it just shows the guy isn't scared of no one. And he, he's here to, to prove himself again, you know. He got released, you know, he got sent to Eagle FC, fought Diego Sanchez. And now, he, you know, uh, he's made a lot of changes in, in, in his life, I, I think, you know, obviously converting to Islam, having a child, you know, being uh, paired with Ali as a manager. So he's made a lot of changes. Um, he's gone in a different kind of direction. And, um, you know, hey, I, I respect to the kid, you know, I like the guy a lot, Kevin Lee guy right here. <laughs> and um, do I think if I wasn't a Kevin Lee fan, if I was just trying to look at this objectively, yeah, I'd probably say we're not, might actually beat him um, because we've seen uh, Kevin have a history of gassing out, uh, not effectively using his wrestling smartly, you know, and when, and when I say that, I mean... <clears throat> Going for more effective takedowns instead of explosive, um, high amplitude takedowns that he goes for that tires him out, you know. And um, that's who Kevin Lee is. You know, you can't change that about the guy. The guy likes to slam people, and you know that's who he is. But um, we've seen that he gets tired, he gets broken down, and eventually someone finishes him, uh, or he gets beat him by decision. Um, and we've seen that reoccur multiple times i don't know if it's a cardio issue i don't know if he's not working hard enough i don't know if he's just not conserving his energy smartly enough um we you really don't know with kevin lee um he's had the same issue for at least the last the last seven years and you know he's had moments of brilliance the greg gillespie fight the edson barboza performance um what he did to trinaldo you know what i'm saying like he's or amagam and mustafaya when he actually put on a wrestling clinic uh for three straight rounds right so i've seen the guy show us you know moments of brilliance but he's never been super consistent that's always been his issue and he's given some tough guys some problems like he gave a prime tony ferguson a run for his money he gave charles Oliveira a run for his money before he became champ um kevin lee he he shows us these moments and you're like oh my god he's the guy the next gsp you know da -da -da -da, you know stuff like that and he just never you know, really fulfills that destiny. Um, but one thing Kevin isn't is a premier loser. I, I, I will say that Kevin is not a loser. And do I think he's going to go out here and get complete, you know, fucking starched by or not? No, I don't. Do I think Kevin has a chance? I think every man has a chance in there. Um, it's just that simple. Uh, but in terms of the stats, let's get to the stats. I mean, Kevin comes to record with 19-7. Uh, he's obviously the underdog. He's uh, fighting out of Florida with Sanford Evan May, age 30. Uh, he's fighting at welterweight in a weight class he's never won in. So that's something to think about. Uh, I had a 5-9, especially in the UFC. Let me just specify that. Uh, and reached 77. So we all know Kevin has these dangly long arms, but doesn't know how to throw a proper jab, which irks my soul. I'll talk about it later. Uh, Renat comes with a record of 21 and two good record. We did fight a lot of cans, but in the UFC, he's actually, you know, performed pretty well. Uh, he's, fought out of he's fighting out of Russia, age 31, a high six foot, and reaches 74. So, um, Renat obviously will be the, the taller guy, but besides all that, um, stylistically, I, I like the fight because I think Kevin, if he can stuff the takedowns, and turn this to a striking fight, he has a good chance. Or if Kevin can stuff the takedowns, sprawl and brawl, and then get his own takedowns near the end, he can tire out Renat. We've never seen Renat really deal with adversity. We've seen Kevin deal with adversity, and we know how he reacts pretty badly. But if Kevin can turn the tables on him, then we got a fight. We got a dog fight. And I think that's what really defines this fight. Um, who can truly break through? You know, Kevin, this is the last chance. It really is. It's the last chance to be considered an elite fighter. Uh, if he doesn't win this, I think Kevin's going to be kind of forgotten. And, and, you know, 
you know, kind of be like, oh, whatever, Kevin Lee, yeah, he, he had a interesting kind of rise and fall. And that's how they're going to look at him, you know. But if he can come out here and really, truly win and make a true run at welterweight, then Kevin's back. You know what I'm saying? He's back. But it starts here. He has to win this fight. And it's the most important fight of his life, truly. Um, and that's what I love about the fight uh, is the stakes. Because Kevin's he, he was given a chance. You know, it wasn't like, oh... You can come back to the UFC. I don't think they'll they'll keep him if he loses his fight. They might keep him for one more, but they're not inclined to put money in the Kevin Lee stock business. You know what I'm saying? Like they're not, they've been through it and they're done. You know they're kind of done with Kevin. You know he's kind of failed. You know he's had his tests. He's had his opportunities to be a big star. The Iquinta fight he lost. The Dos Anjos fight he lost. So, he, but he's always had moments where he's had the bounce back. And when he fought Diego Sanchez, that wasn't his bounce back moment. He fought that man with one leg. Let's be honest. Um, he looked horrible. I, I'm not going to deny that. I'm not going to give him any excuses. Uh, he looked horrible, but it is what it is. But Kevin's fighting this guy, Renat, who's tough. He's look, he's knocked out Eric Spicely before, former UFC fighter. I, obviously, they did that outside the UFC. Uh, he looked good against Andres Michalides, and he dominated Ryan Battle, who I'm actually high on. So... Renat has actually performed pretty well. But outside of that, he's fought a lot of cans. So that's why his kind of record looks that good. But but if we just throw that away, he's a good wrestler. He dominates. He's decent on the feet. But obviously, his striking leads to his wrestling. And that's what he's specifically really good at. Um, he's not a much of a finisher, which we've seen in the UFC. He's kind of laid and prayed. Um, but Kevin is actually the kind of opposite you know he is an explosive wrestler he's a guy that likes to slam people he's a guy that likes to get rear, rear naked uh chokes and he likes to finish people in the first round that's where that's where who he really is he's a finisher he's a true legitimate finisher and um he sucks in the distance so that's where they're gonna um fight at but um i think when you look at everything it kind of does lean towards we're not winning this fight but as much as it it, it pains me I just can't pick. Uh, I can't pick Renat right here. You know, I, I want to make the smart pick, but Kevin Lee's my guy, and I think Kevin can win this fight. I really, I really do. I think he has a chance, and you know what? With some faith, I think Kevin can get this done, man. Uh, I think Kevin can outwear, uh, outwork him in certain areas, and Kevin just has to conserve energy properly, and he wins this fight. If he if he fights really smart, he can really win this fight, and if he can force Renat to make some dumb mistakes. Um, and force for not to go for dumb takedowns. And if he can sprawl and he can get on his back and actually put legitimate pressure on him, he can win. If he can utilize his reach advantage, his jab, it's been something I've wanted Kevin to do forever was really utilize his jab. And he, he can win this fight. He really, he really truly can win this fight. So, uh, I'm going to be rocking with Kevin Lee here by decision. Uh, it's my dog pick of the week. <laughs> something just fell outside, but... Uh, besides that, <laughs> it kind of scared me for a second. Um, I'm rocking with Kevin Lee, man. I think Kevin sees some holes in Renat's game, and I think he'll exploit them. But I hope you guys enjoyed the breakdown. Uh, go follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter. Let's get this eBay fight prediction nation growing. I uh, can't wait to watch that fight. Um, fight night's looking pretty good, and it's a good one to start off, you know, for the for the comeback, you know, the comeback of eBay fight predictions. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Love y'all, and goodbye. This is before I even became a Muslim. And just as clear as me and you were talking, I, I, I felt like God told me, hey, you, you've been a Muslim this whole time. You, you are a Muslim. And I don't necessarily feel like I reverted. I just feel like I, I woke up to the realization that that's what I've been this whole time. Uh, it took a few weeks of me really being introspective and me really kind of clearing my system out of everything, out of the alcohol, out of the marijuana, out of the drugs, out of, out of whatever, to really come to that realization. I, I went and I visited a masjid uh, maybe three times yeah. without even praying. I just kind of sat in the back and, and observed everybody. Uh, and me and you spoke a little off camera before, and I, I just felt like a clearing of anxiety. Mm -hmm. Like, I didn't feel anxious at all. Uh, up until then, the only time I didn't feel anxious was during a fight. Yeah. During a fight, I kind of cleared myself. But it, it being in, the, in a mosque, like, I didn't, I, I felt like that's where I was supposed to be. Uh, so I went to the imam's house. I, I